Hey everyone, so I uh, apologize for the sound quality. I cut my own hair because I'm cheap and I don't want to have to pay 40 fucking dollars for a haircut. So I said, you know what, I'm going to cut my own hair. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take a shower right now, get all this hair off me. And um, But seriously, Onision, fuck you, dude. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This guy is the sole definition of a sociopath. Has zero empathy for anyone and talks down on others to make himself have self-gratification and feel better about himself. I mean, plus there's all these allegations of people coming forward saying that this son of a bitch has cheated on numerous times with numerous people. So it's like, dude, why don't you and Richie just like fuck each other like seriously you're you're you know you, you talk about how oh this guy's a gar this guy's garbage this guy's a loser you're just as much of a loser dude and then social response what kind of a fucking name is that that sounds like the dumbest name for a band i don't even know who any of these like people are it's like weird that it's this toxic vicious circle that everyone is in, and everyone's like informed. It's like everyone knows these these people, you know, who aren't, you know, like celebrities or YouTube celebrities. But that's pretty much it. I mean, they'll never be on, you know, they'll never be on like Kimmel or anything. But um, but no, Onision's a loser. I mean, this guy has. I mean, yeah, he has more subscribers than me, but <laughs> I know how to play the market. You know, it's just funny. It's like he does these videos probably because he needs to pay rent <laughs> and nobody likes him. It's funny. He gets so many thumbs down. He His view count is really low. He's lost subscribers. He just comes off as a sociopathic um, scumbag that doesn't care about anyone but himself. And it's really sad. And it's it's pathetic. It really is. It's very pathetic. I mean, this girl has been through hell, and then he's given himself credit for going, you know what, I was right, because this guy's a cheating line scumbag. A lot of people have told her that this guy's a scumbag. I've even told her that he's a scumbag numerous times on Twitter. I, um, I know she ever got, you know, that message. Like, I sent in a fan mail, like, you know, a long time ago. And never got it. But I was like, why are you dating this guy? This guy looks weird. This guy's a freak. And he is a freak. Anyone who paints their neck black is a freak. You should just call his band Black Neck. <laughs> and then he wears this weird out get, get up and everything. He's got this weird blonde hair. He's not even a, a good looking guy. He's kind of weird looking. He looks like a twig. To be honest with you, he looks like a twig. I mean, I'm not making any accusations, but that's what he looks like. I don't know if he is or not. I'm not making any claims. I'm just saying, he looks like it, and he needs to come out of the goddamn fucking closet about now, you know? So, that's how South Park got away with that shit, too, about Tom Cruise and John Travolta. <laughs> so, but now that guy's a sociopath straight up, man. Onision's a jackass. And then this guy, Richie, I don't know what she saw on that guy. I think she just like didn't want to listen to people. Maybe she's just so lonely, but she's been cheated on numerous times before. So I don't know. She's Maybe she's done some stuff too in her past. You know, maybe she was kind of controlling and maybe, I'm not saying it's right by any means of what those assholes did, but there's got to be a reason. I don't think people just cheat just to cheat. Maybe Maybe she was too controlling. Maybe she's, you know, maybe Jacqueline's really naggy. Maybe, you know, I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just saying that those could be the reasons why people cheat. I never have. Um, I never will, but I don't get it. I don't get people who cheat. Like, I know people who have, and I think it's fucked up. Like, how could you do that? And then, you know, and then people say, you know, oh, well, whatever, you know. It's like, how stupid are you people? Like, can you, you know, people go, oh, it's, 
intelligence thing. So I'm like, yeah, right. So, but no, it's not right what Richie did. I think he's a scumbag. He's a piece of shit. I hope, I hope he loses fans. I hope no one goes to his show. His career goes down the toilet. No one supports him. And um, you know, because he's 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 a scumbag. And then he and then also the girl he was dating or screwing around behind her back. Uh, that girl does the same thing. So she should get tested. Because <laughs> who knows how many other girls he screwed around. So I advise Jacqueline to get tested. She, she needs to get an STD test immediately. Because um, this piece of shit, if he's cheated numerous times on her, then he's probably cheated on other girls too, especially the girl that he was cheating on. So... It, Richie's a scumbag, and he's not even a broken guy at all, so, you know, I think he, uh, he needs to get tested. She needs to get tested, too. Um, and he needs to get his fucking head examined, because it's so far up his fucking ass of him spewing shit and nonsense all the time. God, what a fuckhead that guy is. I don't know what his problem is. Like, leave the poor girl alone, man. She just went through a goddamn breakup. She's crying uncontrollably. She's super depressed. It's actually alarming of how depressed she is. The stuff she writes on Twitter. The video she posts on YouTube is kind of concerning. So, for him to make a video saying, oh, I'm right or whatever, is the most insensitive... I mean, I don't know how you and the president are not best friends. Like... How are you both not fucking each other? You know what I mean? How are you and the president not having relations? You're just as bad. You know? I mean, oh my god, this girl is... Oh god, I feel bad for her. You know? Seems like a really pretty, intelligent, nice girl. And they get people like Onision being a fuckhead. You know? Giving her grief, which she doesn't deserve. This girl's heart is broken. She's super depressed. Like, leave her alone, dude. I don't know what his obsession is with this girl. I mean, he makes countless videos of her. He talks to her all the time. Dude, just, just come out and say it, that you're in love with her, okay? She's obviously not my type. There's another girl I'm crazy about, and she uh, is a makeup artist, and uh, I'm crazy about her. But no, Anision, dude, you're a fucking nutcase. And it's it's sad and pathetic that you that you both constantly make videos about these subjects. Like you need to stop making these videos about her, and she needs to stop making videos. Like just make amends, man. Like seriously, you both should just shut the fuck up about the whole thing. You know? Of who's right, who's wrong, you know. You people going back and forth on every goddamn thing. Just just stop. The whole debate thing is goddamn annoying and frustrating. This girl's gone through hell. She doesn't deserve a scumbag like you giving her grief, you know, when she's crying uncontrollably and super depressed and it's concerning. Just leave her alone. Seriously, just leave her alone, let her, let her breathe, and just stop being a scumbag all the time. And, and the other thing, too, what the fuck does Onision even fucking mean? Like, what does that mean? Is that like saying, oh, I have a Nissan or something? Like, do you drive a shitty Nissan and that's why you call yourself Onision? Like, what... Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, what the hell does your stupid name mean? So, <laughs> it's sad. It's really sad and pathetic. You know, I feel bad for Jacqueline because she has to deal with scumbags like him. And scumbags like Richie. And you know what? She needs a good person. That's the other problem. I think a lot of women, they don't pick the right guys, you know. And, you know, and I feel bad for her. It's like... She, saw, she always sees the good in people, like she said, and then she didn't listen. And look what happened. She did some scumbags. So women do that. Women, 
want to find the good in people. Jacqueline seems like a sweetheart. And I know that this guy wants to bang her. And, um, and he's got some sick of fantasy obsession about her, like some sexual deviant predator. I wouldn't be surprised if that guy affects Harvey Weinstein, you sick fuck. But just leave her alone, let her grieve. The poor girl's been through enough. She doesn't need to hear crap from you, um, Richie, or anyone else. Let the poor girl grieve, man. Like, leave the girl alone. Seriously, this is really mad. It's bullying, basically. I mean, it's... This is straight up, like, bullying her. She's already this depressed. And if she, you know, it gets to the point where it's, like, really bad, she really needs to seek therapy or something. And you too, you sick fuck. You need therapy too for being a goddamn sociopath. You just love to... Like, I watched a couple of your videos and you're sick as fuck, man. Not in a good way. You come off like a major stalker and you're constantly saying, ooh, Jacqueline Glenn, you know, I don't even like her at all. I don't, you're such a manipulative little shit. You're just like the president. You're a liar. You obviously have a boner for her every five seconds. Every time someone mentions her name or something, you get a heart on. So shut the fuck up with that bullshit. But you're the sole definition of sociopath. You are a sick individual. You need goddamn help. And who are you to talk about relationships? This girl's faithful. She's kind-hearted. She's nice. She even commented on one of my videos because I was worried about her because she constantly was posting stuff about she was really ill and her temperature was up to like 106. And I was very concerned, so I kept writing her, making sure she was okay. I made a video about it saying send positive vibes to Jacqueline Glenn and she liked it and she, she commented on my, one of my videos. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, oh my God, this gorgeous girl fucking commented on one of my videos, that's awesome. And, and it was positive. Unlike yours. <laughs> so, I, I feel bad for her. She she needs a good person in her life. She doesn't need a scumbag like Richie. She needs to find someone. And the problem is, she's in that hellhole of Hollywood. You know, with people like you. I mean, I don't know if you're in Hollywood or not. I hope to God not, because you'd probably be stalking her every five seconds, you sick fuck. But, you have all these... Um, you know, Hollywood is such a, a god-awful place. It's so sinister. There's no real moral compass in Hollywood. It's nothing but perverts and freaks and scumbags that don't believe in monogamy. And nobody's old school anymore. No one's loving or kind-hearted. So I think she should just stay with her family back at home, you know, Jersey or Florida or wherever she was staying. And she should just stay there. And I actually know someone who lives in Tampa, so, you know, maybe if I'm in Tampa and I'm hanging out, you know, maybe I can say, hey, you want to get some lunch or something? I know you've been hurting, you know, because that's the kind of guy I am. Um, I met one of my really good friends on Facebook, and we hang out all the time, and I'm always buying her coffee, and she suffers from depression, and I'm always there for her. So, you know, I wouldn't mind buying... Jacqueline a cup of joe or something just hanging out and just talking you know because you know I don't have very many friends and she seems like a cool person to talk to um she has a great you know charismatic personality to talk to and um it's sad but uh yeah just dude just leave her alone just leave the poor girl alone stop making videos about her it's really creepy I wouldn't be surprised if she made a cc to cis letter on you. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she took you to court for stalking, because you're very, very sick. You're very sick, and it, it's it's disgusting. You're a disgusting human being. Um, so anyway, that's just a video I wanted to put out there. And uh, I think you're a sick individual. So, Jacqueline... If you're hearing this, I really hope the best for you. Uh, I hope you feel better soon. Um, don't listen to shit at stains like Onision and, and Richie and whoever else. Like, just be you. You'll find someone 
you know, maybe when I'm in Hollywood or something, we can get like a cup of Joe or something and hang out and talk or whatever. And, um, hope the best for you. So take care.